What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we're gonna check out CM Punk versus Roman Reigns by none other than Polana Productions. This is an interest, uh, interesting, uh, I guess you could say, debate or interesting topic to bring up. I'm, I'm wondering if he's gonna go with the route of who is the biggest star right now. Is it CM Punk? His triumphant, triumphant return. I can't even speak right now. His return to wrestling as a whole, or is it Roman Reigns who's been holding it down for WWE since SummerSlam of last year? So I'm not sure. We're gonna see what uh, arguments he bring up, what discussions he brings up. But appreciate all the love and support. Roll to 60K, and let's get right into it. When CM Punk returned to professional wrestling and made his debut in AEW, he instantly became the biggest superstar in that promotion. It's For sure. not even a question to be honest not with you. Not even close. CM Punk is hands down the hottest act in AEW. Facts. On the other hand, Roman Reigns is the biggest superstar in the WWE right now. It's been like that for this about five years now, and it's even more evident since turning heel in 2020. Roman Reigns is basically the WWE. He's the like he said in his uh, match with John Cena. I am WWE. Roman Reigns is WWE. At this point, I think a lot of people check out WWE just to see. What Roman Reigns is going to say and or do or who he's going to face and how he's going to win. That's pretty much WWE right now. Roman Reigns. The most important figure and he main events every pay-per-view and has the biggest programs on each show. This begs the important question, who is the bigger star right now in wrestling? Is it CM Punk or is it Roman Reigns? Mm. On a recent podcast, Jim Cornette actually said that CM Punk was the bigger star between the two, and then Roman Reigns even took a shot at CM Punk by tweeting that he's the real needle-moving draw that helped SmackDown surpass 2 million viewers last week. Mm. Because of all- Wow, SmackDown had over 2 million viewers. That's nice. I mean, SmackDown, there's no denying it. We all know SmackDown is the A show. There's no- there's no even, like, if you try to tell me Raw is better than SmackDown, I'm just going to look at you stupid. I'm going to be honest with you. You're entitled to your opinion, but I'm going to also still look at you stupid. Raw is nowhere near as good as as uh, SmackDown. And mainly because they have arguably the best run in Roman Reigns. No, it's not even arguably. This is the best run for Roman Reigns' career ever. I, I don't know if it gets any better than this. Only time will tell. But he is carrying SmackDown and he's carrying WWE on his back. Y'all probably think I'm gassing, but let's be honest. I haven't been disinvested in a storyline, in a wrestler, in a person since Daniel Bryan for me. Personally, just like actually invested in every match and every segment that they're in. It's probably be Daniel Bryan would be the last person I was probably invested this much in WWE. All this talk, I thought it would be a fun video to analyze which wrestler is the bigger star right now. And we're going to make a case for both CM Punk and Roman Reigns. And I will give you my final verdict at the end of the video. We will see Without further ado, I agree with let's his, jump uh, right his into opinion it. here. We're going to make the case for CM Punk first because his return is still fresh. Before CM Punk left WWE, he was one of their top stars. From 2011 through 2013, CM Punk was at the prime of his career. Facts. Regardless of what WWE thought, he was the bigger star than John Cena in 2011 and probably 2012. Facts. WWE never made him the number one guy because he probably organically got over with the audience, which is something that Vince McMahon does not like. It's bizarre that they have that mindset, but it does happen. Doesn't make the sense. The same to thing me. happened to Jeff Hardy when he was the hottest thing in 2009. Anyways, yep. CM Punk was big. He was doing huge numbers. His merchandise was always out of stock. This CM Punk's true. run was so impressive. This is why I'm so confused at what R-Truth is saying when CM Punk was way more over than R-Truth than The Miz around this time period. But hey, what do I know? Because he brought back a generation of wrestling fans. Me being one of them. Dead ass. 
People really started watching again because of one man. CM Punk had true star power. Unfortunately, he left in the prime of his career because of his mistreatment from the WWE and their mm -hmm. doctors. If he stayed, he could have possibly died because of his injuries that they were not treating him with well enough. Outside of that, his mental health was also deteriorating. It was time for him to leave despite being one of the biggest stars at the time. Mm -hmm. And so, CM Punk left. And it sucked. WWE felt very weird without CM Punk. His last moment in the company was being eliminated from the Royal Rumble by Kane. It was not anything to be too proud of. Nope. When he first left, people were constantly chanting his name, hoping that he would come back, but that was not the case. It would happen for a few months before fans would finally give up. The occasional CM Punk chants would make some appearances, especially at the Chicago shows, but yep. it was fading away. I still find it impressive that people were still chanting for him years after he left. After seven long years, he finally came back to professional wrestling, and this obviously was not with the WWE. CM Punk would mm -hmm. make his debut with AEW last week on Rampage. One of, if not, the greatest return of all time in wrestling. It, this is easily up there, especially for me. One of the greatest returns to wrestling. Or just, you could put this in just one of the greatest returns in general. This was legendary. I'm going to find myself years from now always going back to watch that video because it always gives me goosebumps. CM Punk's rumor, this was a rumor at the time, it was a rumor debut, not even officially announced, managed to sell out the United <clears throat> Center. It was the largest crowd that AEW has ever had. That's the crazy. debut also attracted an additional 400,000 new viewers to watch Rampage on cable, making wow. it a complete success. That is a huge jump. More importantly is the YouTube views. CM Punk's debut was posted on AEW's channel and it generated over 7 million viewers. I say this is more important because it shows the true interest in CM Punk. Mm -hmm. It's pretty difficult to get fans to watch a show on a Friday night at 10 p.m., especially when you consider that cable is not what it used to be. True. I think it's very clear that nearly 10 million people wanted to see CM Punk. After his AEW Rampage debut, AEW also announced that he would appear on Dynamite this week. That show had a 20% increase in his Damn. viewership from the prior week. That's CM crazy. Punk is clearly popular enough to attract around 300,000 viewers, but does that make him the bigger star than Roman Reigns? Mm. Interesting debate. That that is awesome to know that he was able to gain like get more people to check out AEW Dynamite, uh AEW Rampage. That's That's how you know you have star power. The fact they sold out on a rumor. That's it. That's crazy, man. That is so dope. While CM Punk spent the last seven years away from professional wrestling, Roman Reigns would continue to grow as Vince McMahon made it his mission mm -hmm. to become the biggest star for the WWE to take the mantle away from John Cena. Roman Reigns instantly main evented WrestleMania the year after he split from his former faction in 2015. Reigns and Brock Lesnar put on a classic match that would be the beginning of the Young Stars push. That was a after good match. After that, he would start a very long program with Triple H and Vince McMahon throughout 2015 and 2016 that ultimately ended with another main event match at WrestleMania 32 with Roman Reigns defeating Triple H. The next year after that, Roman Reigns was back in the main event picture, but mm -hmm. this time around, it was with The Undertaker, where he would actually defeat the dead man to become the second person to beat him at WrestleMania. Roman Reigns did not stop there, no. WrestleMania 34 was just around the corner, and that is where he main evented yet again another mania with Brock Lesnar for the second time. Things slowly shifted away for a bit because Roman Reigns was diagnosed with leukemia, mm -hmm. but he recovered quickly to make a grand return at WrestleMania 35. I want to say this. He, I'm, he's not mentioning it, but during those main events, Roman was a face, but people were not feeling him. They weren't. He was having some decent, solid to good matches, but people didn't. They... 
They didn't want him to be the guy. And now that he is the guy, it's it's one of those things where it's like, this should have happened years ago. They should have turned him heel years ago. But, hey, we've got the Roman Reigns character that we should have gotten many, many years ago. And uh, it's it's working out for him. So, But at the time, I remember those WrestleManias. Did not really too much care for him outside of WrestleMania 31. I thought that one, that match was actually pretty good. Uh, I enjoyed that match a lot, but people were not trying to buy into Roman Reigns. This match was not too special. It was against Drew McIntyre. It was more about the big dog coming back to WWE in such a short time to show off his resilience. Fast forward to WrestleMania 37, and that was where he was back in the main event scene of WrestleMania, and Daniel Bryan and Edge were unfortunately the two match. who had to suffer a loss by the hands of the Fantastic Tribal Chief. Fantastic match. I think it's safe to say that ever since turning heel, Roman Reigns has been carrying the entire wrestling industry for the last 365 Ooh. days. This new version of Roman Reigns is producing the best work in the wrestling scene, and it's not Facts. even close. Being the cornerstone of the biggest wrestling promotion in the world does help a lot with star mm -hmm. power. When you think of WWE nowadays, John Cena and Roman Reigns are the two names that typically pop up. I also think that Roman Reigns is only going to become a bigger star after this new program with Brock Lesnar. Mm. And then after that, he is going to be involved in the biggest storyline of his career when he eventually wrestles his cousin, The Rock, <laughs> putting a... Ooh. Hollywood star like Dwayne Johnson in an important WrestleMania main event with Roman Reigns is going to rub off a lot of star power. I'm not going to lie to you. They're feeding people to Roman, and I'm telling you, if they're able to pull this off, Roman versus The Rock, bruh. Bruh. Talk about monumental. Oh, goosebumps. That's a main event. That's a WrestleMania main event. And you have Roman win. You have him win. Because the next person that actually beats Roman and take the title from him, he is instantly a mega star because he beat Roman Reigns. Oh, man. Power. And you also have to consider that this year's SummerSlam was the most watched SummerSlam of all time. Wow. That was headlined by none other than John Cena and Roman Reigns. That's dope. Is all the work that Vince McMahon put into Roman Reigns enough to make the claim that he is the biggest star in the business today? That's the final verdict, man. How do you feel about this? And now we are at the end of the video and I need to make my official take. Who is the bigger star, CM Punk or Roman Reigns? I'm gonna have to go with Roman Reigns. This might upset some mm. people, but I think it's the stone cold truth. Roman Reigns has been involved in way too many WrestleMania main events with too many legends. It also helps that he's the top guy for the bigger company that has more of a legacy and a lot more people know mm -hmm. about WWE versus AEW. The WWE reaches numbers that AEW isn't even close to. I know that it feels like CM Punk is the bigger star right now because his return is still relatively fresh, but that will eventually fade away in a few months. He's still going to be a big star in wrestling, but he's not going to be bigger than Roman Reigns. Mm. I guess the best way to put it is that Roman Reigns is professional wrestling right now, the same way that Hogan was professional wrestling in the 80s, Stone Cold was professional wrestling in the 90s, and mm. Cena was professional wrestling in the last 15 years. Anyways, that is it for the video, okay. guys. Thank you so much I for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. Down. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Wow. I see how you broke it down. Um, If I had to give my honest opinion here, the bigger star still is Roman Reigns. I know there's going to be some people like, oh, how could you say that? CM Punk is the bigger star. Hear me out. The reason why I say that is because, one, CM Punk just got back. And everyone's on this, this emotional high. And they're loving it. Because no one thought, really believed. Like, people were unsure if he was really going to return to wrestling. Now he's back in wrestling. And what's going to really kind of, I guess you can guess you can say, gauge the true star power here is, of course, how his matches go. The potential feuds he's going to have. That's what's going to really solidify who's the biggest star. Because what's making Roman Reigns the biggest star, in my opinion, is because of the feuds. The matches he's been involved in. He has been involved in some 
fantastic matches for me personally the, the i think the lowest rated match i've given him probably it's maybe like a 7 out of 10 since last year he's been involved in fantastic matches main event quality matches since last year of some since SummerSlam of last year and his whole character and demeanor is literally carrying wwe i don't think a lot of people watch smackdown or the pay-per-views or even interested in wwe as much if roman isn't at the top of the card you know saying having these great views and storylines so i'm interested to see how AEW does with cm punk and his feuds and his storylines that's going to be the real telling part if they're able to give us some great fantastic matches and consistently and his storylines are always the ones that make you want to check out the show just to see what's going to happen with cm punk consistently then later down the road we can really have this debate like i said right now i'm gonna have to give it to roman reigns because for the past year now he has been the personification of wwe and i i do believe cm punk can rival that i do believe if AEW books him correctly makes you know creates you know new stars with cm punk just off his name alone and have fantastic fantastic matches and and have fantastic storylines i think in a year's time you could possibly see CM Punk really rivaling, rivaling, I can't even talk. CM Punk really going against Roman Reigns as arguably one of the best in the industry today. So comment down below. Let me know. This one's going to really spark up some conversation. This is just my opinion on it. I want everyone's opinion. Who do you think is the bigger star right now? Roman Reigns or CM Punk? Let me know give your reasons why and why not appreciate all the love and support road to 60k appreciate y'all kicking in with me see y'all on the next one peace